Rewiring a house with plaster walls can be a challenging project. The drywall in older houses is often very thick, making it nearly impossible to fish new wires up through the wall spaces. In these situations, the homeowner will have to hire an additional contractor to tear up the walls and repair them after the electrician has completed the wiring. The cost to rewire a house with these walls is typically between $3,500 and $8,000 for a one-story, 1,200-square-foot home. In larger homes, the costs are likely to be much higher. If you are a homeowner, you may want to seek professional advice about how to conduct the project. Firstly, you must consider the type of plaster walls in your home. If you have plaster walls, you will have to rewire your entire house. It will be more expensive than wiring a house with masonry walls, but you will have less of a mess. If you choose to do the wiring yourself, you may also have to pay for a new drywall. If you do not want to spend too much money, you can try to find someone who will rewire your home for a fraction of the price. If you are planning to rewire your house, you must consider building regulations. The size of the property and its surrounding area should be considered. You may need to pay an additional fee to have your rewired house inspected by a government body. Rewiring a house with plaster walls is a great opportunity to update your home and save money. You can add a new kitchen, bathroom, or a new bedroom. The time taken for rewiring depends on the size of the property and the complexity of the job. A large number of sockets can make the process longer, as will running cabling in a house that has plaster walls. Apartments with high ceilings and walls can make rewiring a house with plaster walls more complicated. Therefore, you should be prepared for this work and avoid cutting corners. Rewiring a house with plaster walls is a big project, and it's important to hire a professional to complete the job. Typically, the cost to rewire a house with wall plaster is between $3,200 and $4,600. It is not uncommon for a rewire to take 3 to 7 days to complete. However, some homes have limited ceiling access, and the job may not be covered at all. Rewiring a house with plaster walls is a major project. It will require major work and will need to run through floorboards and through walls and ceilings. The job will also require redecorating and plastering. Depending on the size of the house, the rewiring process will take a few months. As a result, you should schedule the work two to three weeks before the move. A house with plaster walls can be difficult to rewire because of its age. The old wiring must be removed. The new wire should be non-metallic so it will be safer for the homeowner. The new wires should not be hot to the touch. The process of rewiring should be completed quickly and efficiently, and the home must be free of any safety hazards. If the rewiring is complex, it may require additional manpower and materials. Rewiring a house with plaster walls is an important task for your family's safety. This project will help reduce the risk of fire, which is the most common cause of home fires. Furthermore, rewiring will lower your home insurance quotes. A rewired house with plaster walls will ensure safety for everyone. It will also help make the process easier for your tenants. If you're a homeowner, rewiring your house with plaster can be a great way to add value to your property. Rewiring a house with plaster walls is a complex process. It can be costly, but it is vital for your family's safety. In addition to preventing the spread of electrical fire, rewiring can lower your home insurance quote. And, it will reduce the risk of fire. With a rewired house, your insurance rate can be significantly reduced. A properly installed house with plaster walls can also be a better investment in the future.